Welcome back to this lecture. We now have learned a little bit about the ArcPy package and we have seen how we can run basic function uh, within ArcGIS Pro. This week and next week we are going to talk about cursors. Cursors is sort of a technology that allows you to iterate over rows that are in a table. Likewise, it allows you to access a set of records in a table. And cursors are also going to be used to conduct structure query language or SQL operations. There are three main types of cursor. You have the search cursor, which allows you to access or retrieve data from a table. You have the update cursor that, like the name says, allows you to change uh, the entries um, in a table. And then you have the insert cursor that allows you to add new value to a table. Now, one important twist is that we are also going to be able, as long as we are working with geographic layers, we're going to be able to access the geometry. And the geometry is nothing else than the coordinates. So for points, it's x, y. For lines, it's a set of x and y coordinates. And for a polygon, it's a set of x and y coordinates, where the first and the very last um, coordinates are the same. So um, I'm going to um, explain a little bit the three different uh, cursors uh, in, a, in a second um, and uh, afterwards I will show of course some examples within the Python environment. Uh, the module that we're going to use uh, is called the DA module and that stands for uh, data access. So in the Python environment you would say import ArcPy uh, and then you would use the DA module from, uh, from ArcPy. So let's go and let's learn about these three different cursors and then let's go over a few examples. The first cursor that we want to talk about is called the search cursor. So what does it do? It retrieves rows from a table. That table could come from a shapefile, could come from a feature class, or could be a standalone table. It will read the attributes and the geometry of all the records. Now the geometry, uh, it's important to, to notice that it will read the geometry if it's a feature class or if each uh, shapefile. It's not of course going to read the geometry if it's just a standalone table uh, that it does not have any geographic information. So the syntax that you would typically use here is the following. You have ArcPy, which is a package, .da, data access module, search cursor, which is a function in a way, and it has the different arguments. Two are required, the in table, so the table you want to retrieve um, uh, records from, and the field name. Uh, the field name is which of those attributes do you want to report information about? Now, if you were to use a star instead of the field name, then it will return all the different, uh, it will re return the entries for all of the different um, columns. And then you may have a where clause like when you use a structure query language or SQL. So let's take an example. I have a table here called road. Okay, it is made out of three different um, columns if you want. The first one is the ID. Uh, right, so this is the name of different streets. The second is the shape. Now, so this is important. Again, you're going to have the shape field if it's a feature class or a shape file, for instance, not if it's a standalone table. So the shape typically is point. It could be line, polyline, could be polygons. It could also be uh, other kind of derived types, but those are the main three, the three main one. And then here I have a third uh, column here that's an attribute, and that contains the name of that particular street. So here it is. Uh, this would be the structure of a simple script to extract and print out the name of uh, the street for each of this record. So you have import ArcPy, we know that. You have a variable called fc feature class is equal to here. This is the directory and this is the name of uh, the table. So it could be also row.shp uh, in case you were using a shapefile. Then you have a cursor that you see is equal to arcpy.da.source cursor. It's going to do um, to do that search cursor on the feature class and then it's going to use um, whatever field name you enter. Again, if you enter the uh, asterisk here, um, then it's going to uh, consider the entire table. Uh, otherwise, here in this case, it's just going to consider this part, street name here. And that's what it's going to consider. And that's going to be my cursor because I've specified that particular field. Okay. Um, and then what I want to do is to print the name of each street. So what I would do is uh, using a for loop for each row in the cursor. Remember the cursor? The, so essentially the cursor, I'm sorry, it's this part here, right? It doesn't actually contain 
the uh, name of the field. Uh, and then you would print here street name is equal to zero here uh, between brackets dot format and row zero. So you may wonder why row zero, right? Not why row two, because you know when you look at the table like this one, right? You'll say, okay, well this is you know field zero, this is field one, this is field two, right? Remember we start to count at zero in Python. So why not row two? Well the point why not row two it's because i have a cursor here that only takes into account the very last column here the third one and so it creates a new one right that's my cursor and in my cursor i have here main trying blah 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 okay and so row one sorry row zero would essentially be that very first element Okay, so this is how you would go and, and proceed. Now, there's one last thing I want to point out is that you can also use the with statement. You will see that's a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit easier, or it's a different, it's a bit more elegant way to to write the cursor. Uh, and, and we'll we'll show a few examples. I'm not going to talk about how to read the geometry. It's something we'll talk about a bit later. But I'm going to move into the update cursor now. The second type of cursor that we want to talk about are update cursor and so what update cursor do they modify existing attribute values or delete rows rows from a table okay um, so the structure or the syntax that we're going to use is the following you have arcpy.ds same as for the search cursor right dot update cursor so instead of search we have update cursor and then we have the exact same type of argument the in table which again could be a feature class could be a shape file or could be a standalone uh, data set the fields where we want to make change, right? We're going to change the value um, of a particular uh, field for a particular row, right? Uh, and then a work clause or a structure query language or some, something of that nature. So I'm going to show you an example where um, I'm going to show actually two examples. The first one, I would like to delete a row if it has the name main, uh, while the second one, uh, what I would like to do is to uh, change the name main from lowercase all the way to uppercase. Um, so the very first example here, so I've again import arcpy, I have the feature class is equal to uh, the uh, data table that we want uh, or the shapefile feature class that we want to change uh, or modify attributes from. Uh, here I'm going to use um, the update cursor with a with statement with arcpy.da.update cursor and here we have the argument fc and street name right so i want to change that particular column as cursor okay so you see i don't have to define cursor equal to i just say with as cursor so it's slightly different for row in the cursor so now the cursor as you know it's this right same as before that's my cursor okay and of course i disregard the the name of the column if row zero is and that should be equal here there should be two equal here is equal to main then cursor dot delete row so delete row is a function from the cursor you can specify that you have a particular row that you want to delete the other example that i wanted to show is the following so you would say here for row in cursor and then you would say if row is equal to main then you could change and say row zero now is equal to main with a capital capital uh, letters and then you would use cursor dot update row so update row it's another function right we had delete row now we have update row uh, and that could do now remember we also have seen things like row dot uppercase or lowercase if we want to put all the uppercase uh, for a particular string uh, variable okay so let's move on now to the insert cursor The very last cursor that we want to talk about is the insert cursor and what it does it will insert rows so essentially it adds new rows to an existing table right or even an empty table just add uh, rows and it will populate uh, those rows with of course attributes and if it is a, a geographic uh, type of data it will also add the geometry points lines or polygon so the syntax here is quite straightforward as well. You have arcpy.da data uh, access dot insert cursor as a function serve. And here you have two arguments at least, uh, in table and um, field name. Now you don't see a where clause here or a SQL. Uh, this is because typically this is an empty table at this stage. 
um, or, I mean, it could be an existing table to which you add, but you're not modifying a particular uh, element. You're just going to add a new row or a set of new rows. And so I want to take an example here for, again, our table that we had uh, before. Uh, here we have import artpy. We have fc. Uh, feature class is equal to roads based on where it is in your directory with rpi.da.insert cursor fc feature class the particular uh, field that we want to populate you will see how this works as a cursor uh, and then you would have insert cursor dot insert row very important so you're inserting a row to this cursor and then you're gonna add the name of a street here called fast road so what essentially this would do it would create and add a new line here Faust okay um, now because um, and that's I think quite important because object ID is automatically created uh, in the arc GIS pro environment so automatically this will create a six uh, and because the geometry will, remains the same so this uh, by default will go for line so you don't think you need to specify it if this was not a, um, a, a table with the geometry uh, that was just a standalone table like a CSV for instance right uh, then you would have to specify uh, this and this so if, if you did not specify that uh, then it would just appear as null uh, so something to be to be aware of and I'm going to spend now a little bit of time to uh, show some demonstration on that uh, particular cursor I'm going to demonstrate the search cursor on a data set of hospital for the city of Buffalo. You can see here when I've opened the table what we have. Uh, as I mentioned in class, the typical FID feature ID, sometimes it's also object ID depending uh, the shape. And then here we have a bunch of attributes, name, address, city, states uh, of, the, of the hospital. So what I simply want to do is to use a search cursor that, we, that will report uh, the name of the hospital. So I have some codes here. You can find that, of course, on the Google Doc. Um, that imports ArcPy, uh, specify which uh, feature class I'm working with. Uh, again, you know, that path here, uh, you can find it here under source. And then I, see I have a with statement with ArcPy.da.search cursor, I've seen name as a cursor for row in each cursor, print the hospital name is. Uh, and um, uh, that should return uh, the name of the each hospital. So let's run this. Okay. And that, of course, as you can see, is very fast. And it does report the name of um, every single hospital. Our second cursor is the update cursor. So what I want here in this data set, I would like to change the um, name of the city Buffalo uh, everywhere to uppercase. Uh, so let's try this out. So we have a code here, import archpy, same thing here, now with the difference that we have an update cursor and I change the field name to the city. And I basically say, if the city is equal to Buffalo, like it is right now, change it to Buffalo with uppercase letters. And then you have the function update row that will update every row that has the uh, name Buffalo to our uppercase button. So let's see, and I just rerun this one. Okay, so that was pretty fast, as you can see. And so in order to see whether or not there was a change, what you would do, um, you can refresh here. And you can see that everything is now uppercase. Um, you could also add and remove the uh, layer if that was um, if that was necessary. Our last example is the insert cursor. So here, what if we I wanted to add, let's say, a new hospital? So here I would go import archpy, same thing, feature class, and now I have an insert cursor. Um, and um, of course, I'm going to keep it very simple here. I'm just going to add the hospital and just give a name. I'm not going to write the address. Of course, I could do that, add the address and so on. But I just want to show you how it works if you wanted to just add one element. Um, so here, let's run this one. Now, note the insert row function and note the square brackets as well. That's important. Um, okay. And then we can see here when we refresh um, and we see that there is a new a row that has been added with the name of the hospital called in university. No, I did not specify the address. I did not specify the city. I did not specify anything. So that's why it's all empty. It's null. Um, and But it knows it's it's a point, but it just doesn't know where it is yet. So right, the geometry has not been created. But I, I wanted to show you this one. 